Welcome and this time we're going to learn about Android Activity Lifecycle. It is very important. Okay, and why is this important? Because you need to know what is going on to your activity in order to handle several of the um, 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 action correspondingly. Uh, let's say, okay, uh, let's just say, let's just say, okay, um, we are having, we are having a game. Okay, we have a thing. We are having a game, and we are playing with the game. Okay, it is playing this way. Okay, it is playing. Then uh, suddenly there is a phone call comes in. Okay, that is a phone call comes in, and automatically, if you're playing your games, you are in the foreground. Okay, let's say it's after the on resume, you are on the foreground, you're playing the game. Then there is a phone call comes in, automatically, you know, it, it, that is a screen on top of this one, and uh, you're not able to interact with your screen anymore, your games anymore, because you need to take your phone call. Okay, and then you are doing your phone call. Okay, then if you're doing the phone call, how if the game continue to play? Okay, your car continue to move in in the behind here. Okay, without your control, it is not right. Okay, it is not right. So the game must pause when there is a phone call. Okay, then how do you pause? When to pause? Okay, that is this place. You, know, you need to pause your games here when there is a phone call. Okay, but then when you uh, finish your phone call. Okay, when you finish your phone call, automatically you get back to this on resume state. Okay, then from this one, you need to continue your game. Okay, you need to continue to run your game. Okay, so you need to know this one in order to handle several activities to your game. And then there are many um, activities important in this one. So the first time you're going to create your games, it's going to call to on create only once. Then it's going to call to on start. Um, we're going to focus on life cycle um, activities only, so we'll talk about this square rectangle later. I'm going to talk about um, rounded rectangle now. So we're going to talk about this one later. So when you first, it's going to call to on create, then it's called to on start, then it's called to on resume. Uh, and at this point, you are playing with your game, let's say. And that is a phone call, it's going to automatically pause your game. And when you finish the phone call, it's going to bring you back to uh, the on resume and you're playing with your game then let's say if user click on home button it's gonna bring you to pause and it's gonna bring you to on stop okay when um, user click on the icon to launch a game again okay it's gonna bring you back to on restart on start then on resume again and now you're playing your game then if let's say we um, change the orientation up there change the orientation of the screen it won't pause your game it's gonna stop your game uh, then it's going to call to destroy to destroy the activity. Then it's got back. It's going to on create to create a new activity for the new orientation. Let's say the landscape orientation. Then it's going to on start again, and it's going to on resume. Then you will see your game again. Then right now we're going to um, get back to an application to demonstrate about the um, state change. So uh, we're going to um, uh, let's say we already created. Okay, um, the um, apps last time we're gonna use these apps. Okay, if you don't know um, um, how to create a new um, um, default application, please watch my first video about how to create a sample application. And I will just use that sample application now. Let's say we're going to navigate to our activity, which is Hello World, and you see this is Java code behind and It's already over um, written the um, on create file, and we're going to see when is the on create gonna be um, called. So I'm going to um, look it. Okay, look dot information. Okay, um, we're going to look. Let's say state change. Okay, and this one is for on create. Okay, for on creates. I'm gonna copy and paste this on create here. Similarly, we can override all the other methods to see when is it gonna call. Okay, so when is it gonna got call? So this one we're going to do um, um, um on create. No, sorry. Um, after on create, it's gonna have on start. Okay, then we're going to paste the look. Okay, we're going to paste the look there. Okay, we're going to paste the look. Okay, uh, then similarly, we're going to override on after on start, we're going to on resume. Okay, uh, then we're going to paste the look. One important point that um, when you override this super activity, um, um, super method of the um, activity, okay, which is on resume, let's say you have to call to super the on resume correspondingly. Okay, otherwise, you may get some um, errors. 
Okay, then we look this one later on when I change this one correspondingly. Then we're going to override the method on after on resume on pause. Okay, uh, then we're going to paste this one here. Then we're going to do another one which is on after on pause. We're gonna do on stop. Okay, on stop. Okay, then we're gonna look after on stop. We may be able to get back to on restart. So we're gonna do on restart. Okay, on restart, we're gonna look this one, and then after on restart, we may be able to get to um, after on stop, we're going to be able to uh, get into this joint on this joint, okay, on this joint, and then this one, okay. So we already overridden all the method now. We are changing the um, load correspondingly. So on start, we're gonna put on start, on resume, we'll put on resume. On pause, gonna put on pause, copy paste it. On stop, gonna copy this one and paste it here. On restart, gonna copy and paste it here. On this chart, gonna copy and paste it here. Okay. Yep. Then we have all our main um 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 um, 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 um activities um a life cycle and um, events of the activities except the one with a rectangle shape. We'll deal with it later. So uh, let's, let's see, we're going to stop this application first okay? because it's running. So I'm going to look at Android. I'm going to go to device and we're going to stop our application. Okay? Stop application. Um, so it's not running anymore. It's not running anymore. Uh, look at look at it's clean now. So we're going to run application. Okay? We're going to run application. Okay, app is running. Okay, app is running. Look at our Android. Look at these windows. Okay, now it's here already. Okay, it's here already. Let's see the don't. I don't see the look at. Okay, so it is here, but I don't see the look at. Okay, let me see the device. Okay, and the look at is no filters. Let me see. I see several of the look at here now. Oh, because it's no longer active. Let me see. Um, this app. Okay, let me just make sure and I'm going to go to terminal and go IDB devices. Okay, uh, list of devices. Okay, let me see IDB devices. Okay, list of devices already. And get back to Android. Okay, uh, devices. Okay, let me see edit configuration is fine. Okay, so far I don't see my look at is happening. Okay, let's, let's just clean this one. Okay, no. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me see. Okay, stop this one. Okay, then from here, terminal. Okay, please the devices again. We are connected to the device. Okay, router console. Uh, run, 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 guns on. Okay. Oh, it's up to date. That's why. Um, 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 it's up to date. That's why it didn't build. So um, let me just uh, do the stopping. Okay. No, no, no. Build variants. Android devices. Okay. Let me just how to say. Yeah, if it doesn't show, then fine, uh, because it's um, up to date. So, um, because it's already there. Okay, so let me just click on this one. So I'm going to handle the event this way. Uh, if we are on the screen, okay. If we are on the screen, so it's already come to, it's already come to, uh, on create, on start, um, on resume. So we are on the screen right now. And when is it going to pause? Let's, let's see when is it going to pause. Okay, it's going to pause when we uh, look at this one. Okay, we're going to drag this one down. Look at the look at, it's gonna look that one else. So it's gonna pause. Let's say we're going to drag this notification down. We click on this backup thing. So we are opening another, we are opening another um, Windows. Okay, on top of it, it's going to pause here. It's gonna show the um, 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 look at here. Oh, the look is not um, done there. So I'm gonna escape this one. I need to restart just because of this. I think okay, rejected connection already. So let's, let's just fix this one first. Okay, so the run the um, 
let's say Android okay devices okay it's connection closed so um, if you have the issues for con connection connection closed you're gonna do this one um, we're going to do IDB um, kill server just kill the IDB server IDB um, start okay server again okay if we start the server again and demon started successfully um, now um, if you look at our Android okay so it's already okay started here connection attempts number six let's just test then um, um yeah we have our look at here okay with several of the um, last events that we created before but then you know, we're going to restart all of the uh, the activities right now so uh, you see uh, many looks here and right now i would like to uh, focus on a look with state changes only so i'm going to look at device then i'm going to do a hello wall i'm going to edit filter configuration and we're going to choose state okay filter by the look state change okay by the look tag our look tag is state change what is state change okay which is our um, 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 looks tags that we created before so if you click on OK now, back to our look at, you see only our events. Okay, we see only our events. Again, stay check is this look tag. Okay, tag of the look. Then we see all the events already uh, that we lost some of the events last time, that's why. But I want to demonstrate again all of them. So if you are in resume state now, okay, and if you um, 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 drag this one down, and if you open another windows on top of our um, 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 activity it is now pause it is now pause okay so um, our activity is on resume okay our activity is on resume state okay on resume state meaning is you seeing it and we open another windows on top of it it's gonna be in pause now okay then if we escape our um, on top activity is it's gonna bring us to on resume let's just see so if you press on escape to escape out of this one so it's automatically get back to on resume okay get back to on resume see so let's look at it again if you click on this one okay and you click on this one it's gonna run on pause okay and if you click on escape on pause now if you click on escape now it's gonna add one I'll get back to on resume here okay on resume okay that one is one situation that is another situation is let's say um, when are in on resume or when we are in a um, visible okay when we are visible okay when we are visible okay when are visible um, um when is it going to stop let's say when you're visible and you click on home it's going to um call to on pause and it's going to stop your activity okay when stop um, so uh, get let's just get back to this one let's just get back to this one you are seeing it if i click on home okay if i click on home you know it's going to call to on pause and on stop okay on pause and on stop then uh, you are now in um, um on stop and if you launch the application again it's gonna bring you to on restart on start and on resume and it's show you again so um, if you are now in here okay you are in on stop okay and if we um, click on this we launch the application again okay so it's on restart on start and on resume again okay so on um, restart on start and on resume again and you see it here so that one is our picture Okay, it's bring you to um, on restart, on start, on resume again. So when is it going to destroy it? Okay, let's us say we're going to demonstrate the situation now. Okay, the situation now that we are on resume, we are seeing it. Then if I'm going to, um, if I'm going to um, change the orientation of this one, so it's going to um, pause this one, it's going to stop this one, it's going to kill this one, and it's create another one. So you will see the whole life cycle. So now it's going to, uh, it's going to, um, it's it's in our resume. It's gonna pause. It's gonna stop. It's gonna destroy. And it's got back. It's create a new screen. It start. It's resume again. Okay. So let's us look at it now. Okay. So now I'm going to, how to say? I'm going to press on Control F12. You see. To, so it's going to see it's going to pause the previous activity then it stop previous activity then destroy act previous activity then it's create new activity it's start activity resume and you see it here so 
it's power stop this joint creates um, the start and resume you can see from here um, you can see from here okay you can see from here so um, if on resume means you are at the visible state then if you switch the orientation it's going to pause your application it's going to stop it then it's going to discharge it then it's got back to um, create a new activity then it start that activity and it's going to show that activity on the horizontal orientation okay on the horizontal orientation okay there are several more um, um, situations when um, um, your activity is gonna get destroyed let's uh, see let's uh, see now it's on resume means you are showing it okay you're showing it then if you click on back button okay and it's powers your application it stop your application and um, uh, sorry it's powers your activity it stops your activity and it's destroy your activity as well Okay. Then of course, if it is destroyed already, and right now if you um, go to the application, you click on it again. It's going to create it again. It start it again, and it's resume. Okay. It's create, it start, and it's resume. Okay. It's create, it start, and it's resume again. Okay. That one is. Um, there is another situation when um, your activity is gonna be destroyed, which is, let's say. Um, um, this one is about memory management. Um, uh, your Android application, okay, your Android application is going to have several activity. Okay, so um, when it show an activity, when it show an activity, it's going to have inside the stack. Let's say this one is activity number one inside your stack. It's going to have activity number one. When you have um, another activity, or show another activity here. Um, it's going to have activity number two, so on and so forth. So you have many activity. Okay, inside your Android application, let's say this one is the um, um, activity F, means the foreground activity. The okay, foreground activity is the activity that you are currently interacting with. Okay, you are currently interacting with. Okay, let's say you are working with. So if there are many, at sometimes that because there are many um, um, activities and um, um, your um, the um, Android application is get out of memory and it needs to kill some of your activity, okay, in order to um, get back to memory. So um, um, of course, uh, what, what activity to kill? So it's gonna kill some of the activity um, in the background, okay, in the background, okay, and um, the um, one which is in the foreground or at the visible state. Okay, and the one with the foreground state or visible state is having higher, 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 how to say, priority. And the one that we are not seeing or not in the um, foreground or not in the visible state is going to be get destroyed, going to be killed by the runtime, by the Android runtime, okay, by the runtime system, system runtime, not by um, us manually, okay, not by us manually. Or you can call to the finish method to finish it, okay. Then, if you feel really confusing about um, handling many activities, many, many events of Android application, just focus on the three most important methods. The first one is on create. This one will always, always be called. This one will always be called for the first time when we create the um, Android activity. Another important method is, you know, you don't care. You're going to get back to this one, or you're going to get back from this one, or you're going to first time run it. This on resume will always be called as well for the time you show it or you continue with your activity. Start interacting with it. And the next one is on pause. You don't care that it's going to get stopped or it's going to get destroyed or, or, or it's going to just get pause. On pause will always be called. On pause will always be called before stopping your activities. Okay, so you have this place you need to handle, this place you need to handle, and this place is normally you need to handle them. So that there are three main methods you need to understand. This one is always be calm before your activity is showing. This one is always be, uh, be calm before your activity is not interacting. You are not interacting with your uh, activity anymore. Okay, this one is always be calm for the first time you execute it. Okay, so this one, this one, and this one are three important methods. Okay, and next video I'm gonna talk about the um, on restore instant state and on save instant states. Okay.